Hey guys, it's Dr. McFarland back in the studio and tonight I'm actually going to put down some carpet on the floor. But before I do that, I want to hear what the effect is of adding more things into a room and just slowly hearing how the sound changes from being very reverberant to being very, very dry. So I'm going to play my acoustic guitar for a little bit and then lay down the carpet then play it again afterwards, and we're gonna hear how just adding a little bit of carpet changes the sound. drum set is going to go here in the room so I'm going to play a little bit more and we can hear how this one area rug has affected the overall sound of the room coveted guitar rug which has seen better days I need to vacuum it and kind of flatten it out a little bit but since I've added it I can already hear that there's just slightly less reverberation than there was before um, which is just the way it is it's, it's fine so let's do some playing and you can hear what it sounds like test so hang with me So now let me shoot from a different angle so you can see what's going on here. So I have two carpets on the side and then a big carpet on the end. That looks like it's an eight by, maybe an eight by 10, something like that. So you can probably hear already that my vocal is more, so you can probably hear already that my vocal has more clarity, is not as bouncy in the room, and you can probably just make out what I'm saying a lot better. So now let's play a little bit of guitar and let's compare it to the front of the video. So I am still waiting on my acoustic panels that I ordered from AcousticMac.com. But let me go ahead and grab some bass traps and some first reflection panels that I have so you can hear what it sounds like 
when you keep adding things to the room. Now, mind you, I'm gonna have a couch over here on top of the guitar rug and a drum set right here on the left wall. But I'm definitely noticing that the more and more I add things, the less reverberant the room is. Now, one of the first things that you're gonna to wanna to do when you start treating your room is cover the corners of your room and also the first reflection points of where the speaker is actually pointing at the wall and where the travel of the sound is going to bounce off of that wall. So as you can see here, I have the front of the room pretty much covered and I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit of guitar here and you can hear what it sounds like now. So once again, here's the beginning of the video. So I hope this video has been helpful to you so you can kind of learn the process of what it takes to actually treat a room and not make it sound like you're in an echo chamber, which is definitely what it was before. And I love that sound. So therefore I wanted to capture the sound as it was in its untreated state. And I did that by creating some impulse responses of the room by using Logic Pro 10's Space Designer plugin. So if you want to get the sound of my room and your recordings, I have a link in the description down below that you can click on. And it's only $5. And just think of it like a donation to the channel. And you can get a really nice sounding echo chamber for your next production. So thank you so much for watching. I am Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.